Today is Halloween. Um, it's not something we usually celebrate here in Australia, but obviously Robin's from North America, so she has spent quite a lot of time making William a Halloween costume for this year. And here it is. This is William's costume. He's going as a lion. This is the body part. You can see the tail there. That's the head hole, and this just folds over like that. And domes up at the side. And also here, just got a bit of tinseling attached to some of the same material to create the mane. And that sits over William's head like that. And we've also got some khaki coloured pants for William there and obviously a bit of an undershirt as well so that's going to be the setup for this evening and we'll go and see if William's ready to get going Go Halloweening? Oh, sorry, is that a bit bright? Should we do a nappy change and feed you, and then we'll get going? No, you don't want to. You just want to sleep some more. Yeah. Oh, you're so silly. everything we need now. William's been changed and we'll just head down to the car and go to Robin's school first of all to pick her up after work. Williams in the back and we'll get going. Hello William. Are you a good boy? Are you ready to go? Are you ready to go see mummy in school? So we're in the staff room at Wallara now. Just waiting for Robin to finish her training for the night and then we'll go out and do the trick-or-treating after we've dressed William up. William's trying to get into his pram. Hey. Hey? Ooh. Ooh. Robin's finished work now. Yes, finished. And now we're going to go to the place where her school children have advised her to go to that we can get the most candy. Yeah, I got the scoop. So it's Chesterfield Parade in Bronte. So okay. we're off to Bronte. This is William all dressed up in his outfit that I showed you before. He's got the tail as well. Yep. And mummy's doing the holding. Yes. Daddy's got the bag for the candy. I'll, 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 we've okay. got to let William All right. treat. And we're on our way. Do you want to get one? Thank you. What would you like? Pick, pick one. Are you shiny? Oh, I think it's more for us this year. <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank you. Thank you so much. It's windy for the lion. It is windy. <gasps> William? I finished? Yep. Successful. Untransformed from the lion? Transformed? I finished? Oh, look at these guys. Ooh, these are scary. <laughs> yeah, that's great. <laughs> Did you even say trick or treat? They didn't say trick or treat. Nah. Come on. But I bet you they come home with like half a pillowcase if they were out for a few hours. Yeah. And when I was a kid, I used to do it. What? A lot. A few times if there was good In stuff. In Canada? We'd change our costume. Oh, <laughs> and really? Go back to the same house. Oh, that is so cheating. Yeah, when you're seven or eight. You... And they could tell. I mean, they obviously weren't. <laughs> they weren't, um. Yeah, they were our neighbors. They figured it out quite quickly. Oh, okay. But it's they, like it's like your uncle, is it? But they, <laughs> no, but they still um, they still partake. They thought it was hilarious and let us get away with it. Really. So how many outfits would you rotate through on a Halloween? I think one of them was three. Three. Oh yeah. my goodness. Yeah, but they gave out full size chocolate bars. It's great. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And would every house participate? I would say. Probably 90% of the houses Like, what would you say here? The the block that we walked, there was probably, what? 20. Maybe one in every five houses? Yeah, I'd say 20%. 20%. One in every five houses would have, like, mm. some of that fake spider cobweb stuff? Yeah, decorations or um, or candy. It, it, would, it would be a lot more North America, but for not being a North American holiday or tradition, I think it's actually really good. Yeah. So, really happy. 